I did a lot of math, I made a lot of money, and I gave almost all of it away. That's the story of my life. The Quant King, the man who solved the market, the math genius who conquered Wall Street. Several monikers have been used over the years to refer to Jim Simons, the billionaire mathematician investor who's famously known for creating the world's greatest money-making machine at his firm Renaissance Technologies. Jim Simons founded the most successful quantitative hedge fund of all time. His flagship medallion fund saw annual returns of 39% even after hefty fees between 1988 and 2018. This was more than four times the return of the S&P 500 index. No wonder then that people thought that he had cracked Wall Street. How exactly did he do it? Well, he never shared the secret. Jim's way of investing was very different from other investors who studied fundamentals like sales and earnings and profit margins. He relied entirely upon an automated trading system, pioneering mathematical models and algos to make investment decisions. He used computer signals to take advantage of market inefficiencies and trading patterns and made trading decisions accordingly. Quant funds now account for over 20% of all equity assets according to JP Morgan estimates. In a 2016 interview, he said that I have no opinion on any stocks. The computer has its opinions and we slavishly follow them. He got his bachelor's degree from MIT in 1958 and then a PhD from UC Berkeley at the age of 23. Just after this time, during the Vietnam War, he worked as a code breaker for the US intelligence, monitoring the Soviet Union and successfully cracking a Russian code. I needed money. And I had borrowed money to invest in a company with some friends of mine. Uh, and uh, I need, needed to pay it back. But there was a place in Princeton called the Institute for Defense Analyses which was a highly uh, classified place uh, un under the aegis of uh, the government, the Defense Department. And what we're supposed to do is uh, break Russian codes. Well, that was an interesting challenge. Uh, I liked the work. They told us uh, you could do your own mathematics up to half your time, but yet the other half you had to do, you know, this code cracking business. At the age of 40, he founded Renaissance after he quit Academia and decided to give trading a shot. I had come in a, to a, a very small amount of money, but it was enough to start investing. And one thing led to another. I started hiring people and we made what was called a hedge fund and it was remarkably successful. The rest of course is history. He then went on to become one of the most successful traders and his trading algos surpassed even the achievements of Warren Buffet and George Soros. Of course his style was also entirely different. Jim's net worth was estimated to total about $31.5 billion when he died. This after he gave away billions to philanthropic causes, including those supporting math and research. He has died at the age of 86.